a glorious success for the Indian Space Research Organization when it launched the world's single most expensive Earth imaging satellite, NISAR, using the geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle. I have with me Dr. V. Narayanan, Chairman of the Indian Space Research Organization. Thanks a lot for speaking to us, yeah. Dr. Narayanan. Were you tense? Did you enjoy the, the launch? Say, each launch is very, very important for us. It's a new vehicle for us. To be frank, I was a little bit tensed, but then I am relaxed now. So, what did you feel in those literally 20 minutes? Were they 20 minutes of terror for you? or Because you are well, launching is, the most expensive satellite. It is not a terror. Say, I, I would like to say, uh, this is the 102nd launch from Sri Rikota and 18th GSLV rocket launch. And uh, and again, very important thing is the GSLV, even though it is the 18th vehicle, this is the for the first time we are uh, launching to a sun synchronous polar orbit. All other vehicles have uh, been used for a GTO mission. Correct. Geosynchronous mission. So, thereby, um, it is a new mission by itself. The performance of the rocket is so precise performance. Uh, in fact, within few kilometers dispersion, we could place the satellite. Uh, it was a highly satisfying and exciting moment for the entire ISRO community. Dream fulfilled for you? We have a lot of dreams. <laughs> uh, this is one of the dream <laughs> which is fulfilled. And uh, to be frank, uh, it was a major milestone for us because when our international customs are there, um, that we are costly satellite ever built in the world. For the national community, mm -hmm. that NASA's most expensive satellite was placed on top of a cryogenic engine where you had a key role in the making, was that something gratifying to you? No, to be frank, this cryogenic technology was denied to India and it was the Indian team. And uh, when the program started, I was a junior engineer, when 20 years, you know, uh, when we succeeded, slowly I had a lot of role to play, but it is not an individual uh, role. I will say almost 5,000 to 7,000 people and it is a highly satisfying mission. So, what next for NISAR? How soon will we get results and how soon will… Is everything healthy with the satellite? No, right now the satellite is totally healthy. In fact, that uh, total um, the solar panel is deployed, it is generating the required power. Now, activities are going on. Thanks a lot for speaking to me, Dr. Narayanan. Truly a proud moment for India. Thank and ISRO led India with pride. In New Delhi, Pala Bagla for NDTV.